And the last presentation is kind of a exploratory, I would call it exploratory work. It's interesting, I mean, we'll talk about it, but it's kind of different than, than anything else. So. Yeah, in, in this class, because we, we talk of a lot about cooking, that's why we give a name to our, our mm -hmm. website, uh, Music <laughs> Chef. Uh, and uh, you will know later why we call it Music Chef, because we didn't, uh, you know, like, like what, what they did, they give, you know, songs, decades, all these things were uh, very clear. We just uh, mix all the properties of the song together, you know, to combine and give you recommendations. What is the website? Or next, next slide. Uh, yeah, I, I think this the, the website is good. Yeah, yeah I, uh, for, for our website, we, we generally have two, two tabs. One is the home and another is the uh, recommendation page. For the home page, we have the, the general function. We give the trending song, trending artist, popular songs, and popular artist. And uh, so we will do that because for this uh, general recommendation, the same for every user. So we will do that, you know. Uh, we, will, we will cache all the results in, in some small table. So each time we update the whole database, we, we update this small table. This uh, will make it very fun to load the, the home page. And uh, can you go up? Yeah. And uh, from here, you can search an artist. Can you search one? What do you want to search? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just some problem with us, with me and Zhao, because we can we can only spell it very accurately. Or we can pronounce it very accurately, but we cannot spell this artist name. We don't, we know none of those. That's so correct. that's yeah, a problem right. with us. Great. Yeah, that's we correct. we know we know Taylor Swift, but we can't keep it very accurately. So we split the word into one single word and made the song that's of it. Song that's just a high song. Mm -hmm package of that, I and mean, we combine those song tags, and uh, uh, in the search actually we just convert the, the words you take in to the song tag and search the song tag and we return the highest, the most popular one, yeah, so that's how we do that. There actually is more than one one, they were drawing yeah. part of it. Actually, there, this isn't know. recommendation, this is search. Yeah, this is just search. But he was famous because he played with Charlie Parker first. Mm -hmm. okay. so that should come out on, on all Yes, it's coming it next. It should have. No, 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 but, but we'll see, yeah, yeah. because they had this pasta in later. Yeah. So we'll see. <coughs> yeah. 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 You can go ahead if you want. Um, no, right. So this one is just, uh, we, we predict if it's trending or not. So if it's downwards, it's not trending, actually. We, um, we have several, you can take Taylor Swift, I think that's one is changing dramatically. It's just a predict vote minus the actual reading. So that's a very interesting, but you know, I don't know whether we have time to really uh, define that like you guys defined it, but that's the only application which you look at who is going down, who is going up, you know, they define a, a measure of, you know, which songs are trending up still and trending down, right? So class is up. Another problem when we actually doing is, is me and Zhao know nothing about those music, so we didn't actually listen to them. So it's very <laughs> hard for us to okay, figure out if it's classified right or wrong. Yeah. But Michael yeah. listens all the time, right? Yeah. Michael Actually, today is Michael. Michael, uh, Michael. <coughs> what, what is your uh, favorite music? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody here listen to music at all? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I've actually we, we listened listen to music. Yes, you guys are calling all the time. Right now, I'm into Herbie Hancock, actually. Oh, I, I started getting into that. That's interesting. Yeah. This was since yeah. last yeah. Friday or when we met and discussed. Yeah, yeah. Good. That's great. Positive, positive yeah. learning. <laughs> that's what he learned from database. That's Herbie Hancock. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, that's it. That's uh, cool. So, so how we um. How we recommend uh, similar artists? Actually, uh, how we produce this page, how we uh, show the data. This is actually 
built on the same system as how we're recommending the similar items on the other page. Um, so here, here's which the is, Which is what we're using. Okay. Which one about the technique? Okay, okay, Don't so worry. Say it. We use it. We use SPD. We use SPD. Uh, so uh, what we did is we actually <laughs> we, uh, we built an explanation. <laughs> we went and uh, we got the different genres. So we we're going to say uh, for each artist how many songs they have that are classified for each genre. And then we also look at release dates, uh, the release decades, <coughs> Um, the countries of release and also languages that are so we just uh, build this matrix and then uh, we run SCD and we're taking this view here, uh, which is a smaller rank, a smaller rank approximation uh, of this. Hey, uh, so that's this. Um, we grab the first k, take the first uh, five sigma vectors. So. We can show you this. We actually visualize it uh, pretty directly here on our interface. So these are actually the five sigma vectors uh, that we got from this. And what we're showing you is uh, this most extreme one. This is not the most extreme, but if it's a um, artist that has an extreme value on the sigma vector uh, in, in this direction, and then this uh, obesity, or however it's pronounced, is a very uh, extreme artist on, on the other side. Is, that is this Romanian? That's the same Romanian guy now? No, it's some American band. I oh, don't know how okay. Avicii. 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 Where are you? Or is it Italian what? or something? No, no. Oh, this is uh, Ray. I, yeah. Ray music. Okay. He's a DJ. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Showing you this. So. You going to Ray's? This is the most popular DJ. I'm impressed. impressed. <laughs> uh, Never ceases to impressed. surprise me. <laughs> so, so what does it mean? So you get these four vectors, right? Essentially, what you're saying is you you don't want to use genres because they're imprecise, right? And questionable. Yeah, they're actually oh. pretty confusing. Oh. Right? How do I? Okay. Uh, the power okay. went out on the little machine. Okay. Oh. People can see on the BBS. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're still here. Yeah, okay. yeah so uh, anyway. Anyway, so so we take we take the values that we got from SPD and we put this into a KD tree and that's how we were able to return uh, very similar values back to you quickly. So you can you can move these sliders in order to uh, I yeah, actually, you can think about it because in the database there are so many genres, like uh, more than 200, 800, 800, 800, 800 yeah, yeah, and uh, <laughs> there are also other information years and uh, different uh, uh, countries. And our idea is that we just uh, try to find something um, based on all, all this information. We combine all this information and uh, the way to combine all this information and get the most valuable information is through SVD. And from this SVD, we actually get a five singular uh, singular vector uh, of five directions. And on each direction, because for the vectors, it's not it's not easy to realize and not easy for, for people to understand. And then we find actually to, to find the artist to represent for this direction. In each direction. So one is on on the you can see one is on the positive axis, another one is on the negative axis. They they represent the two extreme two extreme on the two directions. So what do these directions represent? What what what, does, what do they do? I mean, it, it it is a mix of uh, the information. Yeah, it's, it's dimensions of, of highest variance. Are the yeah. clusters along oh. one? What's the size of the name have to do? That's uh, the nearness to the search point. If you if you look at the, the values that are uh, chosen by those uh, ah, sliders in the interface, that's the okay. distance to the search point. Yeah. Because we have five dimensions, we cannot plot five dimension graph. We can only yeah. use the size to represent this direction. Yeah, so we show you for the x and y, we show you the first two, and then uh, the size of the text is distinct. The plot is just plot two directions. The size is represents five dimension distance. Uh, is there 
something else that we should talk about. Yeah, we basically, basically covered everything. Uh, we, we actually learned a lot about music and about jazz doing just clusters, actually. Because, uh, you know, at, at first when we, we did this, we, we saw Miles Davis, we noticed that he's actually a little bit close to some uh, traditional, not traditional, but like old school hip hop artists like Cool and the Gang and some others. We thought that this was a mistake. We looked at the database and realized it was actually the data in the database says that Miles Davis and Herbie Hancock are hip hop artists. But then, then, and we thought that this was insane. Yeah. But then we looked into it, and it's not insane. Really? They by are the way, hip hop artists. By the way, I verified it with the top expert, my son, in this. <laughs> and he confirmed that. Yeah. That Miles Davis and uh, mm -hmm. they, they, they were close, and they, they are original. You know, the roots of hip hop. They actually came. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all. You know. Okay. Show what? What do you want me to show? Yeah. So we had this problem here because one of the graphs was had Snoop Doggy Dog and. <laughs> 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 like, how could it happen? When we had a big debate, then I guess I reported this to Marcin, you know, to my son. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, you can say this, you can say this, you know. So that, that's why right. it would never come through the genre system, through a fixed taxonomy. You know? <coughs> so what this guy's doing is basically factor analysis. Yes, sort of, yes, right? That's what it is. Yeah. But so, so you guys stay for another year, work on this, and it would be a problem. <laughs> so it, it compresses the information into five vectors. Is that yeah. what yeah, five that dimension? Is? We're actually throwing out a lot of noise and probably other uh, information. In the graph, yeah, it just reduces the file. So you're using this in your research, or something? one of you? How did you decide? How do you come up with the idea? Independently. Independently. I used it on some paper that I turned in for machine learning class. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Well, I, I, but it's still great. Yeah. Well, we had a, it was an interesting discussion. We once had in the office, all, uh, I mean, you came uh, entirely with SDD, you know, but I, I had this idea that I don't like the genres because, you know, never, nobody knows what they are. Tell me what the group, you know, what is the popular group in the cinema? Because it reminds me, uh, a waiter who said, like, what wine do you like? You, you know, crispy, uh, you know, with a taste of chocolate, I, mean, I have no idea, right? <laughs> Tell me the names of wines you like, and I will bring you a wine which is like that. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's a better, so uh, we talk about that. Yeah, it was from that, that yeah. And then he went with, came back with the <laughs> video, which I think it's great. Right. 